Buongiorno. We are going to make Neapolitan pizza. It's pretty tough to master. Let's try. A Neapolitan pizza margarita consists of the following parts. A base 00 dough made from a very fine flour, a sauce made from raw San Marzano tomatoes, and a topping which is obviously mozzarella. First things first, the dough. Tipo 00. Add 325 milliliters to a bowl. About 12 grams of salt. Now add about 10% of your flour. This is to create a buffer between the salt and the yeast. Yeast loves sugar but hates salt. Mix it with your hand and then add your yeast. About 3 grams. I'm going to try this ancient machine. Add the rest of the flour. Turn this beast on and slowly add the yeast mixture. Wait till it sort of turns into a weird ball. Remove the machine and work the dough for 5 to 10 minutes. Make a small ball and set aside for an hour or two. In the meantime, I'll go to my garden where I planted my tomato seeds. Get a few handfuls of these beautiful, albeit a bit tiny, San Marzano tomatoes. Remove the stems and give them a wash. Now get a pan and add boiling water. Dunk the tomatoes in and let them hang out for about 3 minutes. Take them out and remove the skins with your asbestos hands. Add salt and squish them like a tomato. Add to a jar and close it real well. Oh, and add a few leaves of basil. And if you boil the bottle, you can store it for a long time. Let's continue with the dough. Cut it in 4 balls of about 220 grams a piece. Make them nice and round. Tuck the underside in a bit to create 4 equal perfect dough balls. Now it's nap time for the little dough balls. Now get your tomatoes and blitz them with some salt and oil. Let's make pizza. Get your dough ball. Don't need it too much since we don't want to push out the air. From the middle, push out to the edges gently. This will create the cornicione, or the rim in English. Try to make the pizza a bit larger by using your hands, or gravity, or your knuckles. Once it's your desired size, add a bit of the tomato sauce and top it off with mozzarella. Just rip a few good chunks off. Finally, sprinkle it with a few leaves of basil. Now, let's go to the oven. Get it as high as it goes. Mine reaches a max of 300 degrees Celsius, or 630 Fahrenheit. After 5 minutes, you end up with something like this. Middle is nice and soupy, not bad. But the problem is that the oven is not hot enough, so the cheese in the sauce is a bit overcooked. So pretty good, but it could be better. Andiamo. We're in Italy and we're trying again. But this time with a wood-fired oven. Okay, let's get some wood to get the fire going. Different country, same recipe. This time we're using live yeast. Make a big ball and let it rise. Pacify your baby, make smaller balls, make tomato sauce, create the base, add your tomato sauce, add tiny mozzarella, a few leaves of basil, and a bit of oil, and slide it in the 500 degrees or 940 Fahrenheit oven. It literally takes 60 seconds, let's see if this is any better. The dough didn't puff up as much as I like, but the center looks great. And it tastes great too, awesome. Although I'm not quite there yet, I'm quite happy. I'm gonna finish these pizzas first. See ya!